another video guys today is gonna be like a day in the life with me basically kind of video um i have to leave work right now well, i don't have to but i'm leaving work i'm gonna go to the store to get a lot of stuff for my kids school like for parties and stuff like they need help with that stuff this year long story short our plans were to um buy like $200 worth of gifts <clears throat> and go pass them out um, at this one area that we know that there's a lot of kids over there that don't have, you know, really nothing. That was our plan because uh, we do that every year for like Thanksgiving, stuff like that. I would, you know, we'll pack plates and stuff, take it. I watch my videos, y'all know we, we've always did that. <clears throat> and it's not... <clears throat> for content there's been a lot of times where we do it and i don't even record it because i don't have to record every single thing i just you know record it you know sometimes and i share it with y'all because i think you know it's really important that a lot of us get involved and um help out in our community help out in our kids school stuff like that right <clears throat> so i was supposed to be uh buying 200 dollars worth of gifts um but i'm not gonna do that after all i'm gonna go to the store and i'm gonna go buy <clears throat> my throat started hurting me again <clears throat> I feel like I'm wheezing. Like, I don't know. It's because yesterday I went to field trip. It was raining. And I got a little wet. I don't know. But, um. So I say? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm wheezing. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> All right, so anyways, instead of us, you know, going out, buying the $200 and stuff worth gifts to pass out, there is a lot of kids at school that can't bring stuff for the party. Um, they just can't come, you know, <clears throat> help out because they don't have it. You know, there's just a lot of people going through stuff right now, and I know money's short for a lot of people. And, you know, we've been in that spot <clears throat> a lot of times. Not now, but we, we've had we've had some years back then that we could sit here and have story time on like literally like how we lived and how we did things and there was times that you know me and my husband didn't get to eat you know <clears throat> and it's the holidays and I just feel like you know I want to give a little bit more this year so anyways that was my plans I wanted and my and I had a couple of cousins too that told me let me know what you're gonna do we want to buy gifts to and give so um anyways uh I was like you know what the school needs this like these kids need this there's a lot of kids that are not gonna <clears throat> have the money to help out and stuff for the party so long story short i'm gonna go to the store and i'm gonna buy just a lot of different stuff and take it to the kids school um and then i'll do my other daughter's school because i don't have to help out with that party because they said they already got everything they need so i'm not gonna i don't have to help out my, my baby girl school i don't have to help her out my son already had his party he went we got gifts and all that he took all that um <clears throat> yeah do like a sneaker santa or something like that and uh, so my other kids that go to school together, Maya and Angel, their school is one that need help. So I am going to go buy just a lot of different stuff, take it over there. I'm going to help the principal. I'm going to quote the principal and <clears throat> make baggies. We got to make 71 baggies because there's 71 fifth graders. And then the sixth graders, I don't even know how many there is in sixth grade, but I have to, I don't have to, but I'm going to be uh, buying them juices and stuff for sixth grade. See, I'm going to buy a lot of different stuff and just take it. And then um, give the principal $400 so they could get whatever they need. I mean, <clears throat> I just feel like that's just the right thing to do, you know, because a lot of these teachers and stuff, they come out of pocket for our kids. And I don't even think a lot of, lot of y'all understand that, you know. It's like, I understand it more, honestly, because <clears throat> I've always been involved in my kids' school since they've been little. So I've heard and I've seen a lot of different stuff and it's just like, dang, these teachers for real come out their pocket <clears throat> for our kids as they don't have nothing. <clears throat> I've always helped out with school supplies, stuff like that. They need something, I'll take it. You know, um, I've always helped out with a lot of different things, canned goods, you know, they do the, the food can drive, stuff like that. I've did whatever I could. They sent me a paper plate, I need this. All right, well, I'm going to go buy a lot of that and just take it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be taking y'all with me. So it's going to be a little day in the life kind of vlog and, um, Let's get out of here because we got to go to the store. So, 
Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jackie. Thanks so much for coming. And uh, don't forget to <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> Sorry, this is real life, okay? <coughs> hope I'm not freaking getting sick. Like, oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. I hope I'm not getting sick. I, I can't get sick right now. I can't. Well, we got a lot of stuff to do. All right, well, let's get out of here, guys. Alright, so I got everything. This is what I got so far. I got three cases of juices, these candy jar little things, all these triple oil cookies. I got me a blender just to I need a I need like a throwaway blender because we're gonna make some stuff and uh it's the our blender's not gonna it's not gonna be good after that. We're gonna have to toss it. Okay, so there's a about these two bags of candies. I'm putting my stuff in the back. This oil and this Sprite is ours for dinner because I'm going to make enchiladas and rice for my babies because they love enchiladas. I bought our bananas and apples to make our bananas and our apple chocolates. You know how I make our bananas with chocolate? My babies love that. Salsa and rice and some salt. I don't know about y'all guys, but I love that jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is bomb. Look at those cute Tupperware that I found. Look how freaking stinking cute. And I don't need them guys, but I got them just to get them because they're cute. I might just get those to my mom. My mom loves Tupperware. I got these because I pack my kids' lunches in there. So when they get home from school, we have busy days at school and work because let me tell you, we be tired. They can just get them a lunch out of there. I'll make like rice, beans, enchilada, something. A whole meal, I'll put it in there. They just put it in the microwave and warm it up. Our cheese, we got some little bowls for like little snacks for my babies. I need this right now. Throw all this in the back, cause right now I'm on my way to the school and uh, I don't want to be fighting with everything. Okay, I got these cause, oh, who don't love these? Yeah, I don't know if these are guys, these are bottled drinks. So freaking good. So freaking good. Leave those back there. Our chicken breast for our dinner. I got some chicken nuggets for my babies and some sausage. My babies love to throw the chicken nuggets in the air fryer. Then I got some candy canes. Got a couple boxes of candy canes. So, let's get out of here. All right, y'all seen I got everything. I had to put on my sweater, guys. It's like freaking freezing outside right now. It's raining, it's like raining off and on. So, yes, I got everything I needed. Now I'm gonna run to the bank, take some money out, so I give them some money. I wasn't giving them $400, but I'm gonna give them three for right now. Then I'll give them another 100 on Friday. And the reason why I'm doing that, because the 100 is for something else, weights, totally something else that's due Friday. So that's, that, that's where that 100 is gonna go. So let me run off to the bank and let me get there. Cause my kids get off early today at 12 30 but i just talked to the principal right now and i told her to pull both of my kids out and don't let them get on the bus because i'm gonna go to the school and they could come out and help me take everything out the truck you know and then they can help us bag because i'm gonna stay there and bag help the principal bag up all these snack bags so let's get out of here i'm running out of time oh, and then i saw this little bird get hit i hate it i did not want to see that i ain't gonna lie i, I was like oh and honestly, right now when I'm backing up, let me show you. See, look, I'm backing up and he's right there. I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to go right over him because he just got hit. Like, oh, my God, I hate seeing stuff like that. Oh. I swear, guys, it drives me freaking insane. I don't like it. I don't even want to look back at it. Just, just let me go. Just let me get out of here, please. Let me get out of here. Oh. All right, guys, see when I get there. Hey, no lie, just to, just to put it out there. I am so freaking thankful for my boss, man. Like, no lie. 
when it comes to my kids and like me doing stuff for my kids, going on field trips, going to go volunteer at the school, like y'all might not believe me, but I could ask her. She's always telling me if there's anything that you have to do with the kids, you just tell me and we'll pick up work the next day or I'll give you some work. You just do it at home from your laptop. Go with your kids to their school and be involved like that. Like she loves that about me. She always tells me I'm never ever because I've been working at this same job going on five years now. And she's always told me I'd never, never, never gonna stop you from doing stuff like that with your children. That's so important. So she's like, you do what you gotta do. Long story short, she lets me out early on days like this. And she tells me, get whatever you get done while you're in here and then go. Go do whatever you gotta do. So I got there at 7.30 to my job and I left there at 11. So I made it to the store, store's right down the street. Now it's going on 12. Wait, anyways, I was at work for a couple of, for a couple of uh, hours, and she still freaking pays me. She still pays me, guys. Like, I'm so freaking thankful for this lady. Like, for real, for real. She's, like, so attached to my kids. She's so attached to me. She don't have no family from out here. It's just her and her husband, and, like, you know, they see us like family. Such great people that I'm super, super blessed to have in my life. Like, super, super duper freaking blessed, man. Um, she's always thinking about me and the kids. So she always tells me if there's anything I do with the kids, you let me know And we'll switch days up or hours up and you go with your kids during the day You know and then when you got to work you got to bring the kids to work with you bring them because my kids that they're well behaved They could sit down and you know, they'll be on their phones, whatever like it can't get any better than this And then you know when I get home, I do my other work off my laptop. So everything's so convenient for me right now I'm just blessed. I thought I, was, I just thought I'd put that out there. Cause right now my boss just texted me was like, "Did you get everything you needed?" I was like, "I got everything I needed." She's like, "All right, well you better run." Like you know, telling me to hurry up, like get to the school. So you know, I'm so thankful for her. Like no lie, she makes my my eyes watery. Like for real, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm super blessed to have a boss like this. You know, that tells me no, th this only happens once in a lifetime. You gotta go to the kids' school because the kids only stay young for so long. So take advantage of it. And, you know, I'm glad that whenever I started working with her, I put that out on the table that, you know, when my kids have stuff, I like to be involved. You know, I told them that before I started working, you know, I was really involved with my kids. I was staying home mom. So, you know, she's like, oh, you don't have to tell me twice. She don't have no kids. OK, she don't have no kids at all. And so she sees us like her family, you know, and uh, I'm thankful for that. Uh, that's a great lady. Let me get out of here. Let me run. Let me pause this goddamn school. And that was the principal just texting me. Let me see what she said. So we have all these bags done so far. Look at all these bags. <laughs> now we gotta time it. That's one thing we have now. to find some chicken for this kid right here he loves chicken and they have good chicken yes yeah, so let's see if we can find him because he's hungry if i can't find chicken here then we'll go to mcdonald's let's see look dad oh you're not gonna like that chicken that's not fried is that fried yeah. oh that is fried chicken all right, so I'm gonna get me a couple of things here and I'm gonna end my video here, guys, because um, I'm gonna get a couple of stuff, a couple of things here, and then I'm gonna go home, start doing all that. I'll start to hold on the vlog off tomorrow. Um, we made 80 bags today, thank God. We had everything we needed. 
made all the, the only thing the teachers bought was the baggies and I got everything else because I, I told them that's what I want to do for the kids, you know, so everything came out good. They had a lot more candy and stuff left over, so I told them to keep that for treats. So yeah, we're gonna um, end the vlog off here and get these, I'm looking for some croutons and then we're, we're gonna head out. Let's, oh. I got some Christmas stickies. Cute. I bet you this is gonna be good. Some chicken. Baby. Plain. You just throw a bag of chips in the basket. That's just how it is when we got all these kids, okay? Then we're gonna go home. Cause my oldest son's got home early too from school and he's starving. And his dad took him to the food size and he's still starving. I'm like, what the heck, bro? What's like? So now I gotta go, guys. So I'm gonna end this vlog off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.